Oh, it's beautiful, Mike. It really is. Oh, geez, that's great. Is the lighting halfway decent? When Neil Armstrong first landed on moon in 1969, the whole world considered it to be a great feat. But an equally amazing fact is that the processor on that spaceship was slower than a modern calculator. In fact, it is more than 1000 times slower than your smartphone's processor. When you consider how much the engineers accomplished with that technology, it was indeed a great leap for mankind. Some of the common doubts surrounding this fact include questions like how exactly slow were those processors? And if those processors were really that slow, how did they accomplish so much? In this video, we will be addressing those questions. When you buy a smartphone, the first thing you check is the specifications. You would check the battery capacity, camera resolution, storage capacity, processor speed, etc. If you check the processor speed in your smartphone, you would see that it is mentioned in gigahertz, GHZ. What does it mean? Well, a single hertz refers to one cycle per second. This cycle could be any repeating event, clocks, speed, wave, rotation of blades, or anything. For instance, in this video, we are now dimming the lights and then turning them back every second. So this is said to have a frequency of one hertz. Now, if we were to do this three times a second, it would be equal to three hertz. Similarly, there is an oscillator called the clock inside your phone's processor that completes certain number of cycles per second. But this oscillator is way fast because it completes millions of cycles in just one second. And for modern processors, it completes billion cycles in a second. Now, you might be wondering what happens every time the clock completes one cycle. These cycles refer to how much instructions the processor can handle in one second. A smartphone processor that operates at 1 megahertz of speed can process up to 1 million instructions in one second. Modern processors like Snapdragon and Qualcomm operates at gigahertz speeds, meaning they are 1000 times faster than megahertz processors. The Snapdragon 845, the latest of its kind, operates at a speed of 2.8 gigahertz. In simple words, it can execute 2.8 billion instructions in a second. Now, coming back to the computer on Apollo 11, the Apollo 11 guidance computer, AGC, operated at a speed of 2.048 megahertz. That means that it could handle around 2 million instructions per second. This speed is at least 1000 times slower than a Snapdragon 845. But although simple it was, the processor was totally crash proof. This was possible because of two reasons. One was the coders who wrote the code for the AGC processor were top notch. Each line in the code was written with utmost care. In fact, the entire code was designed to occupy and operate using as little memory as possible. The second reason is that the programs in AGC were executed one at a time. In modern smartphones, we have a master program called the operating system. The OS divides the processing power to various apps, irrespective of how important they are. But in the AGC, the OS does not divide the power among the programs. Rather, the programs were categorized in a hierarchical structure. So if a program is important, it will be at the top of the hierarchy and therefore it will naturally get most of the processor's attention. Here you can see a list of programs in the AGC computer. But all these programs do not run simultaneously. Rather, during each phase, only a specific set of programs will be executed. For example, let's take pre-launch. Only the programs related to pre-launch and services will be executed. Similarly, while thrusting, the programs for thrust will be given maximum importance. This simple method prevented the system from freezing. I hope you guys appreciate the computing power that you have in your smartphones and computers. If you have a computer at home, you can use it to do something similar to sending a man to the moon. If there is a system in your house that is gathering dust in a corner, today would be a good day for you to put it to use by signing up for one of our CFD or FEA based courses. Through these courses, you will learn how to perform industry standard simulations using cutting edge software programs. You can find the links in the description box below. Hope you found the video informative. Please do like, share and subscribe. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.